Yeah. Sir, are you okay? Are you okay? What happened? Yeah, my leg. All right, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. Just hang in there. Tourniquets are used to control life-threatening bleeding to arms and legs. They should be placed as high on the extremity as possible. They should be tightened enough to stop all blood flow from wounds to the extremity. You should be familiar with the four most common commercial tourniquets available and know how to create an improvised tourniquet. The four most common commercial tourniquets available are the Soft T, the Soft T Wide, the CAT, and the SWAT. The Special Operations Forces Tactical Tourniquet, or Soft T, best to loop around the arm or leg. If unable, the strap can be pulled through the buckle and then re-threaded. Hold the tourniquet platform and pull on the strap as tightly as possible to remove as much of the slack as possible. Twist the tourniquet handle until all blood stops flowing from the wound. Secure the tourniquet handle into the tri-ring and secure the buckle screw to prevent slippage. Document the date and time the tourniquet was applied at the end of the strap. The Special Operations Forces Tactical Tourniquet Wide, or the Soft T Wide. To apply, first remove the quick connect buckle from the tourniquet platform and loop it around the extremity. Hold the tourniquet platform and pull on the strap as tightly as possible to remove as much slack as possible. Twist the tourniquet handle until all blood stops flowing from the wound. Secure the tourniquet handle into the tri-ring. On the end of the strap, record the date and time the tourniquet was applied. The Combat Application Tourniquet, or CAT. Open the Velcro on the band. Place the tourniquet around the extremity and secure the band back onto itself. Do not adhere the band past the rod clip. Twist the rod until all blood stops flowing from the wound. Place the tourniquet handle inside the rod clip. Adhere the band over the rod inside the clip and fully around the limb. Secure the rod with the band strap and document the date and time the tourniquet was applied. The stretch, wrap, and tuck tourniquet. Twist and snap the bag to open. Wrap the extremity with the band, stretching it until the printed rectangles appear as squares. Two to three feet from the end of the tourniquet, make a loop with the running end and tuck the working end into it. Document the date and time the tourniquet was applied. Supplies that could be used to make improvised tourniquets could be triangular bandages and trauma shears as a tourniquet handle, the strap from a duffel bag and a screwdriver as a tourniquet handle, a common vehicle seatbelt and a section of handle of a broom. A common shoelace can be used to secure the tourniquet handle once desired a tightness is achieved. The tourniquet strap should be made of a cloth or strap that is at least one and one half inches wide. Here the strap from a duffel bag is being used. The tourniquet handle should be a solid material or bar like this screwdriver. The tourniquet handle should be twisted until desired a tightness stops all blood flow from the wound. Secure the tourniquet handle with a string or tape like this shoelace. Document with a pen, lipstick, or marker the date and time the tourniquet was applied on the patient's forehead or the unaffected arm. Tourniquets are life-saving tools for serious hemorrhage. If you have any question of whether a wound is serious enough that it requires a tourniquet, it probably does. You will cause more harm by failing to apply a tourniquet to a life-threatening hemorrhage than by applying one when it is not indicated. The tourniquet should be tightened until bright red blood has stopped coming from the wound. It should only be removed to be relocated higher on the arm or leg. The time the tourniquet was applied should always be recorded.